Thank you, Paul. I think we, when you think about how the U.S. Army trains the Marines, there are normally four states. It goes from white, kind of chill, do nothing, and then there's kind of yellow, that could be chill, but anything could happen. Then it's orange, oh, let's get our gear together, and when you're in the red, you move. <laughs> Folks, I'm now in the red. I've been really being put on the spot. <laughs> and quite frankly, when I look at the audience, I think you'd rather let me say goodbye to you than say hello again. <laughs> so, but I think, just once again, I think it's wonderful that you all share this wonderful evening with us. Um, and actually, I think it's fascinating to, to listen to everything that you said tonight. I was taking stock and thinking, where, what have we done right, what have we done wrong? And then continuously, I get back to very, very basic truths that we have perhaps become so sophisticated in our thinking that we just missed the bare truth. So it's really good, you know, to, to, to take different lenses and to put it in front of your eyes and to see things very differently. So thank you for this. And to all of you, thank you very much for walking the way with us in this wonderful partnership. I think as a university, I can really say I'd be very proud of our partnership with the Maponya Institute. And the reason being is because, as you know, Dr. Maponya is an alumnus of the University of Johannesburg. So he's actually our, our faculty's official grandfather. And I believe the right term is Ntadimul. <laughs> so it is always wonderful to walk the road with you. And so I really respect you as a person. And you are a wonderful mentor. Thank you very much for, for the privilege of working with you in shaping and sculpting a great nation. So, with this, I think, I think Paul would just do for a uh, hello, and everybody is now welcome. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink, reinvent.